Hey what is up everybody, today we're gonna talk about booleans in javascript which is one of the most used data types in programming. This video is for beginners who are new to programming or new to javascript. So if you are a beginner or a student maybe, let me know in the comment section because I would like to see the level of my viewers so I can make related videos. Whether you are a beginner or a professional, just let me know in the comments. Alright, let's first talk about what a boolean is. A boolean is one of the data types in programming like strings, arrays, objects and so on. Each data type has a representation, for instance a string variable represents words or characters or an array represents a collection of variables. And a boolean variable represents two conditions in programming which is either true or false. Booleans are very useful in daily programming, we can use them to compare a condition or to answer a yes or no question or to turn a feature on or off and like that. Now let's see how to use a boolean in an example. So for example let's create here two number variables and we're gonna compare them very soon. Let first num, let's say it is 10 and second num is 5. Okay, now I would like to compare these two numbers and assign them to another variable. So let is greater and let's make a comparison here. Now I will write first num and put a greater than operator and the second num. Now let's lock the is greater variable to the console and let's see what it returns. Okay, as we see, it returned true because JavaScript evaluates these two variables here and since 10 is greater than 5, it returned true. However, if I change this to less than, this time we see that the console logs false. Both of them, either true or false, doesn't matter, they both turned the is greater variable to a boolean. So this means that the is greater variable is now a boolean variable. Let's give another example. This time we will check a condition with a boolean variable. So let's type our condition here. If, if this case is true, we will lock an additional message. Let's move this here. We will lock an additional message to the console. Otherwise we won't see the message. So let's say this condition is true. I will fix this very soon. Now I create here another variable, let's say let condition and assign it this time directly to true. Now true or false, they are reserved keywords like function or let and true or false variables can be used for booleans. If you type here instead a capital letter like this one, then it's not a reserved keyword anymore and this won't work. Or if you type here like a string, then this also won't work either. So inside the if case, let's call our condition. And since this condition variable is true, the if case will be true and we will be able to see this message on the console. So let's see. Since this variable is assigned as true, we are able to see this message. However, if I change this to false, then the message has disappeared because the if condition is this time false. We can also do the same like another comparison, for example, if 10 is greater than 5, which is true, then we are able to see the message again. But if I change this to 10 is smaller than 5, since this is false, then we won't be able to see this. So this is basically how the Boolean logic works and the usage of Booleans in JavaScript is very similar to other programming languages. If you want to learn more about web development, subscribe to my channel and turn on your bell so when I upload a new video, you will get notified. I hope you find this video useful and thank you guys for watching.